up guys, Pete here again. So welcome to this first episode of Hero Only Challenge. I will leave a link up in the top corner up here somewhere for you guys to get the info on this. So I am doing a Skyrim and the Shire version of Hero Only. And as you can see this is the first battle. Farmer's Mag eh, Farmer Maggot's Farm. So basically I've given myself a little bit of a should I say a half fighting chance. Basically, yeah, I know Sam's standing there, but keeps him on the board at least. I have a dog at least on my side, one dog, up against my five proxy ruffians, or my Breelanders, three, uh, four of whips, and then obviously Archer at the back. And it's just a simple, straightforward board. Now I'll get to it, I'll maybe do a few turns and moves and just keep you guys updated. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so first turn move, very simple. Good one priority. Good, sorry, good will be on white, evil will be on red dice. So, just move the dog as far as I could. I'm also changing rules slightly. It's going to be a 4 plus for Sam coming on, for once obviously the dog is hit. But other than that, that's the first turn, nothing really too major, and I will see you next turn. Okay, so into turn 2. Good got priority, so the dog charged this way and got charged by a ruffian. Ruffian tried throwing his whip at the dog, doing no effect, leading into combat with the Ruffian winning and doing nothing other than pushing the dog back. Now the archer is half moved, he will shoot, he shot, missed, luckily. <coughs> the rest of the Ruffians have moved up, just trying to spread out, and Sam rolled a 4 plus for him to come onto the field. Now, <coughs> like, it, like the objective is for the main game, I have to stop at least three of them, and I'm hoping to do that. If three escape off, then that's it. I should also state if Sam dies, that's it, game over. Like I've said in the sort of introductory video as well, if Sam dies, that's it. He's done for, and this campaign or hero only campaign is over. So I will see you guys in the next turn. Okay, so turn three. This ruffian managed to run and get a six to jump over the wall and fully move. This ruffian basically got a free just to move over and that ruffian is sneaking all the way along that way but he's still got to get either through the forest or over the hedges as well to escape. Sam has moved up as close as he can, he's at least one turn away, possibly getting a chance to maybe attack both of them. And sad but true, the dog was beaten in combat by both the archer and the ruffian, therefore leaving me with no added help at the moment. Which is a shame, but <clears throat> like I say, a few more turns and these ruffians will be off. It's not a bad thing if they get off. It's a draw, etc. Yeah, it's a loss as well, but the main thing is trying to play these scenarios with a hero only. I've still got no ruffians beaten. So, turn four, let's go. So, turn four, all that happened with these two guys is they rushed up after beating my dog. This other ruffian is now a way to take a jump test next turn to get over the hedge. I believe he doesn't need to take the jump test because it is slight, half his height at least. And also in this little fight phase, <coughs> if my camera would focus. There we go. Sam and these two ruffians fought off. Sam won them, beating, winning the fight with six against Freeze. I used both of Sam's attacks to try and beat the ruffians, but simply they just lost. So, on to turn 5. Okay, so on to turn 5, very uneventful. This ruffian got a 2 for jumping over the hedge, so he got over. He is one turn away from the edge board. Board edge, sorry. This ruffian that helped kill my dog has run into the forest, so he'll be moving through difficult terrain. The other ruffian that was fighting with Sam has decided to leg it and go for the objective. My archer ruffian is waiting until next turn to see what happens before taking on Sam. And Sam won the fight and killing a ruffian. So that is one down. I need at least another two to possibly win. But from the looks of it, I'm going to need a, a major hope. <coughs> Three are so close, two are close to the board edge. And it just takes one of them to tie me up for a turn or two. And that's it. But let's go on to turn six and see what happens. 
Okay, so turn six sees this ruffian winning objective-wise, so he's off the board. I'll just leave him there just now until I finish filming. This other ruffian done his half move through the forest, with it being difficult terrain. This archer ruffian got engaged by Sam because Sam won the combat and he was the only option that I had to take on. Sam rolled a six and then rolled a five for killing him. Two down, one to possibly get. With one leaving the board, winning objective, well, winning the scenario of the game so far. With another one, a way to get off next turn, and this guy, a way to get off next turn as well. So let's go on to turn seven and possibly two final turns. Okay, so turn six or seven, I can't quite remember. Now, Sam won priority and charged into the one ruffian. This other ruffian, I thought it would be smart for him to come back and take Sam on. The ruffians lost, and in the process, Sam rolled a 3 and a 2, it was 2 attacks. So I used one might point, taking out another ruffian, leaving just one left. So at the moment, unless this ruffian wins priority and runs the next 2 turns, it's going to be a draw. So let's get down to the final last 2 turns by the looks of it. Okay, final turn, and I'm telling you this is the final turn. So basically, Sam rolled double fives and the ruffian rolled a five as well but Sam was lucky and still had a might point left so he won the fight and then luckily rolling a one and a four killed the final ruffian so therefore Sam has won this hero only version of Farmer Maggot's Farm showing that it is possible to win this. This is probably this is the second time I've tried this little mission. I know the board's not the same size as it should be, but one ruffian compared to four being killed out of the five of them is a better result than I've had. So Sam can move on to the next battle, or scenario should I say, if my camera would focus, which is beating the bounds, which I will be doing on the same size board, <clears throat> but a lot more hopefully dense with the forest wise and I also have traps on my side as well so leave your opinions down in the comments do you think I can win the next scenario or what do you think of this one so far sorry for the shaky camera work and sorry for it not being so great I'm basically recording this as quick as I can but hope you guys are enjoying this little series of hero only challenge if you guys want to give this challenge your, your go yourselves please give it a try because it's fun trying out your favourite hero. And anyway guys, I'll see you in the next scenario. Hey well guys, Peter again. So this is scenario 2, Beating the Bounds. Now, I know the participants are a different story for good. And Evil, I've kind of got to make up a little bit of a mix up. I don't have any ruffians with bows. Or I've got two bows at least. But I will point out which ones have bows and etc in a minute. So, the board is a simple straight up forest idea, and all the good players do is try and stop four or five ruffians getting off the board, or if four or five get off, then to draw. But, <coughs> since this is a hero only, as I'm using Samwise the Brave, I have got my, sorry that's a bit just falling down on the floor, my set of ruffians set up. So, the one with the lantern is going to be a bowman, whip, whip. Bowman, 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 Whip, eh, uh, sorry, let me start again. <coughs> bowman, Whip, 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 eh, uh, Whip, Bowman, since he's got a bow, Whip, 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 and then them three bow with the two-handed weapons. Now, like you can see, I've got a slight advantage on my hands. I have nothing but trap tokens everywhere, which is quite a lucky thing, and this tree will just not stay standing still. I have shuffled them as best as I can. I do not know where any of the blanks are, where any of the pitfall snares or trip wires. That's it. Uh, they are all activated on the 2 plus and will hopefully either slow down the ruffians or cause a lot of nuisance. Now, when I did test play this a few weeks back, the center of the board had all the trap tokens, which I cannot believe. Around the edges and stuff was just blanks. And I was just taking away handfuls of blanks all the time. But, like I said, I've got them spread out nicely. So, let's get down to turn one and see what happens.
Okay, so turn one was pretty simple so far. Already four blank trap tokens have been found. This guy managed to uncover four, uh, sorry, four, two, straight away. The archer was fingered by a snare, but safe. The other archer was fingered by a pitfall and safe. He should actually be moved for more his full move since nothing happened. And the number two blanks around here were found. And Sam has just moved up as close as he can. Now, obviously, the ruffians have still got a good few turns of movement. All the forest, all the big forest based areas are difficult terrain, so everyone is moving at half speed. Other than that, let's get down to turn two. Okay, so for turn two, two blank counters have been exposed more around this area. This guy seems to be finding nothing but blanks. These two have moved through the forest. Uh, another blank was found over here. These two, the archers, are running around this way. A snare was found, but caused nothing. That ruffian's moved into the for these two ruffians have moved into the forest. He will be moving half turn, half pace next turn. <coughs> and this unlucky ruffian found a tripwire, rolled a six, got a six, and got taken out. And Sam is just so still duddling along. He's going to end up hopefully running to this blank counter finder, but he's going to have a bit of competition with these two, and then the rest of them are all scurrying that way. I've got six possibly scurrying that way. I'm trying to do the objective as much as I can, but I'm going to use possibly these guys to try and tie him up, or I could try and shoot Sam off after them, but we'll just have to see what happens in the next few turns. So on to turn three. Okay, so next turn, Sam won priority. I actually kept him still for possibly throwing a stone, but this silly ruffian managed to uncover a pit, rolled a three, rolled a six, and is out of the game. These two are too far away for a throwing stone from Sam. This ruffian rolled for a tripwire, nothing happened, unluckily. These three all scurried through the forest, these two scurried this way. This archer ruffian found a tripwire and got himself knocked to the ground with no other effects. So that's a very slow turn three or four. I believe it's four. I'm just going to go from there that it's turn four. Anyone can correct me in the comment section that I'm <laughs> a bit wrong and a bit silly. So the traps are becoming a use in my case, but they've still got these six I'm trying to scurry that way. On to the next turn, turn five. Okay, so turn five, these five ruffians have all run over this way. The ruffian that was knocked down by the tripwire has now stood up and will move again next turn. They've got two turns, three turns, but there is the odd trap here and there. This ruffian's run through the forest. This ruffian uncovered a snare and tripped himself up. This ruffian managed to find himself in a pit, fallen down it, done no damage to himself luckily. Sam got into combat with him, Sam won it, even if the ruffian managed to win the combat he would not win the fight, or be able to strike bow should I say. <coughs> and Sam rolled a 2 and a 4, therefore killing him whilst in the pit. So that is 3 down, 1 due to killing and 2 due to the very handy traps. I don't see me winning this, I easily see these six getting off and fleeing away happily and into the Shire. As long as I can maybe stop this guy and possibly play catch up with them. So, on to turn six. Okay, turn six, this ruffian can now stand up after being knocked down by the snare. Sam won priority, should see, I should have started with that, good one priority. So Sam charged this way. Obviously, just out of reach of this ruffian. This ruffian only moved halfway through the forest. These four scurried along, following this guy, who now seems to be the one that is finding all the blanks, as he's found one blank about here, and then a blank right in front of him. They are one, he's one full turn away, and Sam only has the option of either taking on that one ruffian, 
or possibly trying to get tied up with these guys and getting trapped and possibly killed. But let's go on to turn seven and see what happens. Hopefully something more happens than what has. Okay, so turn seven. This ruffian is pretty close to the board edge as well. We'll wait to escape off possibly next turn, but we can only move half move this turn. This ruffian unknowingly uncovered a snare, but luckily nothing happened. This other ruffian is not too far behind. The ruffian that stood up recently has, I've just noticed, knocked over a pitfall, which I will just check in a sec, because I didn't realise he was actually on a token. But I will get to this. Basically, Sam charged over this way, because I thought it would be the better idea. The three of them charged into him. Sam rolled, well, one, it was a one and a one and a five from the ruffians. Sam rolled a four and a two, so I used one, actually used both his might points, sorry, to say to bump up to a six to automatically win. Yes, I could have done with the roll off and possibly won. But in return, Sam won against the three of them, killing one and then pushing back the other two at least. Now I'll just quickly jump off the camera and see what happens with this guy with the pitfall. Okay, the guy with the pitfall, a 5 and a 6 means he's been taken out by the pitfall. So, traps, that's 3 kills to the traps, and then 2 with Sam stopping the ruffian. Which leaves 2, 3, 4, 5 to get off the board. These guys need priority and run off the board. Let's get into turn 8, I believe it is, and so let's see what happens. Okay, so turn 8, these two. Ruffians are safe. So that's two off. They still need another three. This lone ruffian is one turn away from getting off. And these two got engaged by Sam. But they won the fight, pushing Sam back and getting the wound off on Sam. Sam used one of his fate points and is back at two wounds, two fate. So, possibly the final turn. They are half a move, just over half a move away from the edge. He's a way to run off anyway. I could keep him there and just shoot his bow. But, just trying to get the objective. So let's see what happens in this final, possible final turn. Okay, final turn, as I feared. The ruffians won the combat. Sam could have called a heroic, com uh, heroic move if I had another might point. But these last three ruffians are off the board. So, victory to ruffians. Obviously Sam got wounded. But I was trying to follow the objective as much as possible, and I was trying to kill as much as possible. So the ruffians have their five, their four or five that go off the board. Sam is still alive and can move on to the next scenario, the board of Bro board of Brockens. I will get that set up and get it recorded for you guys. If you guys are enjoying this and you want to try and use your own hero or heroes to play some scenarios from your favourite source book or anything like that, I highly recommend it. It is a good way to get to know how good or bad your hero is. And you can really learn something good with them. Or something really bad about them. But all in all, I'm having real a lot of fun with this. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this. Sorry about the bad camera shakiness and stuff like that. I'm trying to do my best that I can. And I will see you in the next scenario. Hey yo guys, Pete here again. So, the scenario number three and the one that I've been looking forward to, the bo Brock of Borings. Now, this is going to be a good one. The fact that I get to use my painted up Sharky and Grima in this scenario. The evil force will be obviously Sharky, Worm, three ruffians with whip, three with bow. The board is pretty simple, quite squared off, foresty. Meeting house in the middle, where Sam will be. And obviously the simple objective is getting Sam off. Now, to make it a bit harder on myself, yes, I could just run as fast as I can off the nearest board edge. I will show you. I have got... Sorry, there we go again, from a book down. I have got Sam in the middle. And I've got my two escape points. Here. And here. I cannot just escape off any any edge it has to be either hop over the wall or hop for the gap on either of the walls now I'm going to point these out 
roughing my ball, roughing my ball, roughing my whip. Uh, whip. The barman will be a ballman, even though he's not got anything on him, and a simple whip. And I have Grima and Sharky hiding away down here. Now, when I play tested this, it was pretty fun. I also made a extra objective for myself. For before I can escape off either of them, I have the option to either kill three ruffians or wound and kill Sharky. So at least if I wound Sharky, Worm's going to run after him. So my best bet is keep Worm a million miles away. So seems simple. It didn't quite work in the playtest. So that gives you guys a little bit of foreshadowing of how things are to go. <clears throat> like I say, simple forest, walls, trees, hedges, etc. Not the best sort of board looking, but like I say, guys, I'm trying to do this as quick as I can. And this is probably the last video I'm recording today. This is the third in the row, and my voice is starting to go. So let's get down to turn one and see who gets priority and how bad this goes. Okay, so turn one was pretty uneventful. All the ruffians just bounded in as much as they could. The one ruffian with a bow attacked Sam. Sam lost the fight, but luckily took no wounds. Sharky tried casting Terrifying Aurora on himself and got a one, and had to use his only might point to get that. And Grimma is, well, skulking away off that way, as far away from Sharky as possible. I'm going to probably shove him away in that forest, so that if anything happens, Sharky has a chance to run beforehand. But like I say, Terrifying Aurora is up, so Sam will have to take courage tests. I should also said uh, way back in the first video, Sam is fully equipped with Sting and an Elven Cloak. I would have gave him a pony, but I'm waiting for the model of him showing up, or a pony model, should I say. So I would have maybe cheated and put him on a pony. I could always redo these with him on a pony if needs be. But anyway, on to turn two, and let's see how this goes. Okay, so turn two started off with all these ruffians attacking Sam. Basically, Sam lost the fight against them. I had the option of burning my only two might points to draw a level and get a roll off to see who would win. But luckily, only one wound was done to Sam and it was saved with one of his fate points. So Sam is still at two wounds, two fate points. I have moved these two ruffians over this way with the other archer ruffian to basically keep an eye on Grimma. Sorry, I've not actually moved him yet. Sorry, to keep an eye on Grimma for if and when he becomes a good model. And so I can keep kind of three of them safe. And Sharky just sneaks past, basically sticking his tongue out of Sam, saying, you're not going to wound me or get me. But there is a good chance if I win priority, Sam can charge into him and possibly put all my strength and wounds and attacks, sorry, I should say, into targeting Sharky. So, turn three. Okay, turn four. Sorry, my voice is kind of gone because I've just had a major laugh at what has just happened. Basically, I've moved these guys up to try and keep Baby Grimma in the corner, which has happened. Now, Sam did win priority. And I charge straight in Sharky, getting a 5 on my courage roll plus his 6 courage, giving him a chance to easily get in. Which was a bad thing, because then I was trapped. Sam luckily won it, without having to burn any might. But, for him to win, he rolled double 6s on attacking Sharky. Sharky burned his only fate point, so Sharky's down to 1 wound, which now means Grimma is on my side, and possibly going to help deal with these guys. So Sam can either leave the board now, or try and attack these three, or just give them a little run around for the next few turns. So let's go on to turn five, I believe it is. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Okay, so nothing too eventful. Shark uh, sorry, Sharky. Worm has moved up, but there's two guard guys blocking the way out. They both have our they're both archers. And then obviously a whip roughing as well. Sharky has slinked off this way because he knows what's going to happen. And Sam was trapped. Sam did win priority and ran this way. I was trapped. The ruffians all rolled twos. Sam rolled double six. Two sixes, which was nuts. 
all from just the roll snake eyes on winning on winding so that is turn five so far let's get on to turn six and see what mayhem comes next okay so turn six went bad i guess uh grima only won the fight against this one ruffian the other ruffian here sorry tried using his whip which did not work the archer failed to hit grima he hit the rocks instead Sharky has run basically over to the other table quarter, so not really much to say about him. Sam was trapped again, losing the fight and having to burn two fate points. He's only two fate points left to stay to save one wound, but he's back to two wounds, no fate. So let's hope I get priority and can maybe at least hold myself off in the gateway. So let's get on to turn eight and see what happens. Okay, so turn 8. Grimma is becoming a kind of a handy, useful, good model. I'll start off with the Archer. He tried shooting at Grimma, but yet again, missed. Hitting the rock, obviously. Grimma is luckily that bit of wall is in the way. The two ruffians here lost a fight against him, and Grimma rolled a 3. He needs a 4 for just wounding one of his fellow ruffians. Sorry, the neighbours are doing housework if you can hear that. Uh, Sharky is a way over in the table quarter now. He's hiding. He's waving to you guys. Hi. Sam won the fight, but unfortunately did not wound anyone. So, so like I say, sorry guys if that drone is coming through the video at all. And obviously failed to wound. So, on to turn 9. Oh, sorry, and this archer moved here just to be a nuisance if Grimma luckily does beat them. But we will see in turn 9. Okay, so turn 9, the ruffians have finally had it with Grimma and decided to trap him. But the first set of two dice rolls instantly killed him. So I'm down on the help from Grimma. So these three finally got rid of him. This archer just stayed still in case Grimma somehow maybe beat them off. Sharky's still hiding away over in the corner. Sam won the fight, luckily. Burning a might point to win the game, win the mat, win the fight should I say, and in turn killing one ruffian. So, turn 10 so far. My only option is run after Sharky, get the last wound off of him, kill him, and get off the board back down here. But, there's four, five ruffians still kicking about. Let's go into turn 10, see what happens. Turn 10, these three guys are running along now. The other archer, Ruffian, is playing catch-up as well. Sharky is coming along, now that he knows the threat of Grimma is gone. This Ruffian, Ruffian hello, got into a fight with Sam. Sam won the fight, only pushing the Ruffian back. This game is going pretty good so far. Sam is still on two wounds, no fate. Sharky's on his last wound, so if I'm lucky I can just jump over the wall, wound them, get back over and out of the game before these four play catch up and hopefully deal with this ruffian as well at the same time. <clears throat> so turn 11 and sorry my voice is still going. Come on Sam, you can do it. Okay turn 11, these guys moved up closer. Shark is around by the wall. That ruffian archer is a way to block his only way out to get to Sharky. But luckily Sam won the fight, killing this nuisance of a ruffian finally. <sighs> This is just taking longer. At least Sam's still alive. And I had the, the help of Grimma tying things up. I got lucky in the start with Sharky. But I think I might just have to take this as a loss. But we will see in the next turn. Okay, this turn, the ruffians have just... Archer ruffians have moved up closer. The one with the whip is playing catch-up. The other archer and Sharky both attacked Sam. Winning the fight and winning Sam. Sam is down to his final wound. Now I've got one option, pray, <laughs> that's all I've got. Now I could just run them off the board and call this a loss, but I would rather kill Sharky at least, and then hopefully run for it. So let's get into the last, this next turn, and see what happens. Okay, so same again story for the archers, they have not moved. This ruffian attempted to jump the wall, but f failed. So did this ruffian rolling a one. <clears throat> Sharky took on Sam. Sam won the fight, just burning his last might point to win it. 
and wounding Sharky and killing him. Thank goodness. So my only option is I've got one of the two victory conditions at least. So if I win priority, hopefully I can run off the board. So let's see what happens in this next one to two turns. Okay, the archers have run up seeing that this game could be ending soon. This ruffian archer failed his jump test again. This archer took on Sam. Sam beat him and killed him. Therefore, getting rid of that threat as well. But unluckily, Sam obviously lost priority. Losing me the chance of getting off the board. So, this could be the final turn, but we will see. And I'll see you in the next turn. Okay, now things are really getting dangerous. This archer managed to get a jump test over the wall and passing it. This archer played run up, came running along as well. This other ruffian managed to catch up with Sam. He is a single inch off the board and got into combat with him, but luckily he lost the combat and Sam pushed him back. So I am hoping, hoping for priority this turn. Let's see what happens. Okay, I know this is something strange, but I'm going to do a priority roll to see what happens. Evil got it. Oh, okay, I have never been so lucky to see twos and ones rolled on dices. Each of the ruffians all rolled either a two or a one. Sam rolled a five for wounding this one, killing another one. And possibly, possibly this next turn, I'm getting off the board. So let's roll the dice and see what happens. Okay, so like I say, Sam is on, well, good is on white, evil is on red. Let's get him off the board, please. Six and a four, Sam is off the board. Okay, honestly, this has been some crazy scenario. The fact that Sam is now off and free. Crazy to think that when I play tested this, he didn't do it. He didn't win, he got killed pretty quickly. And somehow he's held off against... Six ruffians, three with bows, three with whips, sharky and worm. Oh man, what a crazy battle. Next battle is the old shore house, but I am waiting on a baggage pony. As I'm kind of using that as a little helping hand for the scenario, since there's no way on earth Sam's going to be able to move across this board with four bags worth of things. The pony should be at least be able to carry at least one to two bags. As long as Sam is in base contact with it for a turn or something. I'll think up the rules before I do the, sorry not the rules, but the kind of objective wise. So like I say guys, hope you guys are enjoying this little series of hero only. My voice is the way it goes so I need to stop and hopefully the post has been with my baggage pony. As I've been waiting for it for a while. And like I say guys, give these scenarios just try yourself or just run your favorite hero like just play test it against the same amount of models I mean cost like I say guys Sam is just survived by the skin of his teeth one wound no fate no might Ugh. the next scenario will be easier with them being in sentry mode and hopefully I might have some more ruffian models by then and possibly a better board to show you guys but anyway guys thank you guys for watching this if you are and then you're enjoying it please leave a like and I will see you next time. Hey guys, Pete here again. So on to scenario number four, the old shore house. This time Sam will be up against just eight simple ruffians with whips. Now I know the special rules say about traps, but I've left them out since I have a added a little bit of extra help. I will maybe still use the knocked unconscious rule. Let's have to see how it goes. Obviously Sam can re if this would focus. He can re re revive himself. I will be using the centrum rules, using the centre table, well the old centre table should I say, and <coughs> as well with the ruffians, reinforcements and stuff. <coughs> Sorry, let's wait to pick up for you guys. So, when it comes to supplies, I have said that I've got a baggage pony, which I now actually have, luckily. So, I'm going to make it instead of being four, is it four bags that I have to get off? Yeah, four bags. I'm going to make... Sam has to take off two, and the pony has to take off four. But the rule is, Sam has to be in contact with the pony, or should I say, build the pony. He has to be in base contact with him with one or for one to two turns 
depending on how many bags I'm hoping for him to carry. And Sam can also carry one as well. All the bags are only objects unless you're getting caught up in combat, which they have to get dropped and then have to get re-picked up. So, I will show you the board and we'll get down to this first scenario near the shore house. Obviously this is how it should look, but you will see my board in just a second. Okay, so this is the board at the moment. I've deployed, uh, sorry, deployed it. Set up as best as I can to sort of match the book. I've made it so that Sam and Bill, sorry, over here, have to either escape out this way once they get to the old shore house. I know the Hag's Hut is not exactly the best shore house, and the old ruined buildings as well are the sort of opposite houses and stuff. But like I say, I've used a bigger map, and depending on, he has, I can't actually run back to that side, I should say. It has to be that side, and then once he goes back, it has to be that side. So just to make it a bit fair. But all in all, this is the board so far. Sorry for a bit of light coming in and stuff. These are the ruffians that are sitting in reserve at the moment. I've got two running around sentry mode. I'll maybe skip the odd turn or two if there's nothing really happening and I'll just jump to the next turn. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so a very fast and simple first turn. Bill moving his eight has just run out this way. Sam has gone through the wall, luckily. This ruffian rolled a six, so I moved him up this way to cause a bit of a nuisance. And the other ruffian, she just moved up so far. Now I'm using this pumpkin as a sort of token for Sam to have to carry. I should have said that at the start for you guys. But first turn, not too much. I'll see you in the second turn. Okay guys, that was a close call for turn two. Ruffians managed to win the roll off. But I used Sam's, one of Sam's two might points to call her up move. Getting Sam and Bill as far away from this guy as possible. Because six, you see how close he is to the gate where Sam was. He would have been just in range of finding Sam. This other ruffian rolled a three and moved up three. So that could have been the alarm raised by turn two already. Just because of this one sneaky ruffian. Let's get on to turn three and let's hope nothing bad like that happens again. I don't have to burn more might points already. Okay, I've jinxed myself. Turn three, the ruffians gain priority. And I could have moved Sam, but Bill was too far away out of reach of his heroic move. The ruffian spotted Sam, won the fight, pushed Sam back, unluckily. This ruffian beat Bill, pushed Bill back. Now for Bill, I should have said I'm going to use the Knox Unconscious rule if he does win a fight. Obviously I know ponies can't win fights and stuff. But on a bright side, one ruffian came out of this hut. One ruffian came out of that hut, luckily. So there is still a chance of hopefully winning priority. Bill can rush past and just sit by the shore house. And they can get two bags at least loaded on in this next few turns possibly as long as no more ruffians come out okay so turn four sam managed to beat the ruffian he was fighting against and killed him bill unfortunately has lost one of his wound and wasted his only fate point so he is down to his final wound i don't see i really don't see bill lasting too long which is going to be a shame this other ruffian moved up no other ruffians luckily came out of this house. But one came out of this hut. Sorry, the light's pretty bright there. I do not know what I'm going to do. But let's see what happens in the next turn. Finally, some luck has come on their hands. Sam managed to move just in base contact <coughs> with one of the ruffians facing off of Bill. Beating the ruffian and killing him. Bill managed to get revenge and has obviously knocked this ruffian unconscious at the moment. <coughs> this ruffian is moving up closer to guard the shore house. This ruffian moved up. The last one came out of that house and also double sixes meant these two came out of this house, this house or hut. So I know where they're going and I know what's going to happen next turn. Okay, turn five if I am correct. Sam and Bill ran as close to have can to the house. This ruffian tried to whip Sam, but is luckily just out of range. 
Zubber Ruffian's far too much out of range. Bill won the fight, but did not wasn't able to knock unconscious the Ruffian. And these two guys just ran forward. So hopefully I can gain priority again this turn. Get Sam to base contact with Bill for maybe a turn or two. And maybe hold back Ruffians as well. And this guy's still unconscious us with Rowan a one. So, turn seven, let's see what happens. Okay, turn seven, this Ruffian is still lying on his back after rolling a two this time, luckily. This Ruffian's run up. This Ruffian's sneaking around this way around the hedges. Bill and the Ruffian faced off, with Bill winning the fight and just pushing the Ruffian back, luckily. The camera's not focusing. Sam had two Ruffians on him, beating both of them back and killing one. Hopefully, if I can beat up a Ruffian and hold, have enough time before this one comes around, at least Sam can be in base contact technically with Bill unchallenged for at least a turn to get some baggage on him, hopefully. So let's go into turn 8 and see what happens. Okay, so turn 8, this Ruffian still is on his back. This Ruffian is getting closer and being more of a menace. I know next turn he's going to be in base contact with Sam. This other lonely Ruffian came around to help his now on his back friend as Bill won the fight and knocked him unconscious. But this pain in the neck ruffian won the fight on a 6. Sam lost a wound having to burn one of his fate points just to keep him at 2 wounds, 2 fate at the moment. <clears throat> so let's get on to turn 9 and see what happens. Okay, turn 9, this ruffian ran along to help his friend. The other ruffian ran around to help his friend. And Sam faced off against this ruffian winning the fight with a 6 and a 1 just to go ahead and roll double snake eyes. <sighs> this game is getting tricky. Basically the way I see it is, I'm just going to have to kill all the ruffians and just call it a win at that. But we will see what happens, who knows. On to turn 10. Okay, turn 10 is not looking too good. Bill held his own against the two ruffians. Only managing to get pushed back luckily. These two are going to be in combat with Sam next turn. And this pain in the neck ruffian took another wound off of Sam, leaving him with one fate point, two wounds. I really need to either sneak around, grab that, and try and run off the board to get one of these off, or hopefully, like I say, five of them to kill. Let's see what happens in turn 11. Okay, turn 11 fared pretty well for Sam, winning, beating both the ruffians, but having to burn his last might point to win, kill both of them in the process. Whereas poor Bill, he rolled a 1, and one of the ruffians rolled a 6, therefore killing Bill. So like I say, my main objective is now simply kill the free and just call it a draw. As long as Sam survives, that's the main thing. Bill Bill was a good use. He was a good use of, of, of Pony. I would have loved this game to go a lot differently, but let's see what happens in turn 12. Okay, turn 12. Luckily, because of the shore house, it saved Sam from being trapped. But in the instant, he lost the fight and lost another wound. He was luckily, somehow, I've been lucky with his three fate points. He's managed to save all his fate points. But now he's out of fate. I really, really need to break these guys and get rid of them. So, I'm lucky for Sam, but on to turn 13. Okay, turn 13 is so stupidly lucky. Sam is basically trapped, but won the fight on a 6, just to go ahead and roll snake eyes. So therefore, these three guys are pushed back at the moment. I'm hoping I can maybe win the next priority, but if Sam gets trapped again, I don't see me having the same luck again. So on to turn 14. Okay, so Sam won priority, running as fast as he can away, making sure that... Luckily, I can only have a 1 on 2 instead of 3 on 1. Sam luckily won the fight, winning the fight with a 2 against 1s, and also killing 2 more ruffians. Now it's a 1 on 1 fight, so I will see in turn 15 that this last pain in the neck ruffian will finally go down. Okay, turn 15, Sam has won the fight. Killing the last ruffian. Now, 
obviously this is not the way the game, sh this scenario should go, but like I say, it's more the fact of there's no ruffians left at all on the board. The board is empty of ruffians. Bill is dead. Hello, Bill. And it would be pointless to film me moving back and forward, back and forward, back and forward, trying to get Sam off. It would take God knows how many turns, but he has survived. Now, it'll probably be a wee while before I do the next scenario, the South Farland, as I need to order some more miniatures to Proxius Ruffians. So hopefully that will be soon. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I am liking it so far, myself. And obviously, I know I've been tweaking the rules a wee bit, just to make the scenario either a bit harder or more fair for myself, as you can see, and stuff. But... Like I say, Sam has survived the fourth scenario, so on to the fifth one, which will be up shortly. Hope you guys are enjoying this, if you are, please subscribe and like for more videos like this. And cheer on Sam in the comment section. And like I say, if you want to try this, these sort of scenarios with your own favourite hero, I highly recommend giving it a try. It's so fun and so great. But anyway guys, I will see you next time. Hey guys, Pete here again. So we're doing the fifth and final battle. I know it's not... The final battle with the battle by water being the main battle, but I don't think Sam can really go up against Sharky Worm nine and six about the fifteen ruffians. But obviously, I'm going to try the South Far one as the last one. I will still have the fifteen ruffians, but obviously it won't be exactly fifteen ruffians. I shall see in a sec. It will be Sharking Worm used as well in it. I have tried to get my board sort of the same way as I possibly can, as I will show you. So yeah, I basically tried copying as best the board I can, just walls, hedges, trees, a bit of forest over here. Uh, I'm way put down the tokens as well, I've just totally forgot about that. But, like I say, it will be Sharky Worm and Ruffians. As you guys can hopefully notice, I have got some extra archers, a few free little archers from train store. Just got another day, quick paint up, nothing special. Threw some contrast paint on them, and that. So that is now technically my brief force. Yes, that guy has an arm now, which I need to paint, and it's a bit oversized, but no one's really going to see it. So the main objective is once the tokens are down, I'm going to get some. They have to basically sit on them and they win them. There's going to be five tokens. Probably do two, two, one in the middle. But I don't know how this is going to go. Obviously, I'm just going to see what happens. I'll try and hold any tokens I can. But if Sam dies, who is here against them, then that's it. Game over. But like I said, this is probably the final and last game. So I will get the tokens and get this game started. So, okay guys, as you can see the tokens are down, I'm going to maybe just do double, like sort of give everyone a march until they're close by just to get past and out of the way quicker. So, I will skip on to turn one and I will show you what has happened. Okay, so first turn, like I said, I just gave everyone a march. Sharky, Worm and all the ruffians next to him all got the perfect score for jumping over the wall. Even though that was basically a full 12 move. I've kept my archers back. If you guys can see them. Just to protect those tokens. Sam has moved up 8 as well. I think this is going to be basically a big brawl in the middle. Uh, I know the objective is <coughs> holding the tokens. But there's also the objective of if 8. Once the death tally gets to 8. So if I can kill 8 ruffians. Shark and Worm count as well towards that. If I can kill 8 ruffians, then I've got a good chance of hopefully the game ending and if Sam's still alive, then that is technically a draw. But this will be the last game, like I say, and I keep saying. So I'll get on to the next move and I'll tell you what happens in a sec. Okay, so pretty basic second round. Sam called the Heroic Combat to try and beat at least two of the ruffians here, but only killed one. Pushing the other guy back. As you can see, Worm and a few ruffians are all carted round and round. Sharky is sitting on the middle, sorry, 
the middle objective so that will be pretty much held these guys jump over the wall and still my archers are all holding these objectives in case Sam gets close so let's go into turn 3 and see what happens for the next turn okay so turn 3 was pretty interesting as you can see Sam has been trapped but we'll get to that in a second the nuisance of Sharky threw a single build effort to mobilize on Sam now I'm using the old rules so he would have lost his fight etc and that for Sam to have to burn his two will and use his three resistant to magic will point just to fail them on ones and threes and burn his last might point to save himself from being completely immobilized and also winning against the four of them to win the fight killing yep. two in the process sorry just checking the dice tree two ruffians therefore he is untrapped luckily so turn four let's see how bad this gets i hope the dice are on my side and let's just see okay turn four has came and gone sharky threw another effortless one willed effortless immobilize it worked on sam he failed his resistant to roll free resistant to roll will point with a one therefore being trapped first of all the ruffians got a four and a five for winding them and then for their second round of attacks two sixes and a four completely killing him there is no chance of will points saving him so after five matches five matches you finally survived you survived so many games and this camera is still pointing up after yesterday sorry guys there we go so he survived five of the scenarios i expected this one not to go too well especially against the huge horde of ruffians obviously it was a fun little it was a good little idea but obviously the ruffians have won this and there's no way he could have won by war by himself it just shows just now how much he tried but like i say guys hope you guys enjoyed this little series i didn't expect this video to be as short as it is compared to the last few but this has been a really fun little series please leave your opinion down in the comments should i try the 2014 or 2016 other scar and share book came out battles obviously a few of them i'll be leaving out because hobbits v hobbits is just not going to work because i don't have the money to buy loads of hobbits but i will obviously have more proxy ruffians etc but like i say hope you guys have enjoyed this hope you guys maybe even try this yourselves just using your favorite hero to see what happens and like i say he survived five scenarios, five more than I expected, but that's how it goes. Like I say, give your own favourite hero a try, please leave a like, comment, etc. if you've enjoyed this, and hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you.